Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my laser engraving on white ceramic tiles or with my X20 Pro. Now this is not going to be like a tutorial. Uh, there is loads of uh, YouTube video to show you how to do this, how to get the image, for example, um, to be ready for your light burn. I'm just showing you my experience as a first hander using the X20 Pro to make laser engraving on tiles. And I have some amazing results with a, uh, um, photos, but also some not so amazing experience with the laser. I mean, still in the learning process, and hopefully you'll find my information useful. If you are using the X20 Pro, you can follow some of the settings I have used in this video as a starting point, and you can always uh, adjust it to your needs. Um, when it's engraved on the tiles, this is actually waterproof. The titanium dioxide is actually edge into the surface so you can actually scrub it and clean it and the uh, result will not change um, they usually come in a box of 44 and they are 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters or thereabout not going to go through the exact size but yeah so whatever people uh, do a diy project sometimes they have some left behind and i'm buying them really cheap so i'm in the uk and they are about five pound for about 40 or so um, open box obviously and you can always haggle with um, them by giving them maybe a nice picture of them on a towel like a titanium dioxide powder this is uh, i think what people use for food uh, this is a food grade one um, they don't dissolve but what they do is they become a suspension like this so i just have a regular spray bottle and then i, I kind of dilute or make it into a suspension um, the only problem is whenever you spray you have to keep shaking it uh, keep shaking it, keep shaking it to get it to spray out. But the good thing about this is it's so easy to clean afterwards. You can actually rinse it under the tap. Um, instead of a layer of paint um, on the tiles itself, what it does is it leaves a thin layer of powder on top. And there is no paint to clean afterwards, which I'm going to show you. Sample here, I failed completely. Uh, here, I get some successful uh, um, engraving. Um, here basically is not enough. You can see all the uh, white marks in between. At first I thought it was the power of the laser not right, but actually it was because there was no, not enough powder on, on, on the surface of, um, of the towel. But if you do get it right, it does give you some really clean engraving on the towels. For example, now I think it's finished, but yeah, it is finished. So this is my latest uh, test towel. I'm still testing them to get my um, fine-tuning my result. So this is the end result with my uh, titanium dioxide powder and a spray bottle. So um, what happens is when you spray this suspension out, um, the powder will dry on the towels quickly and leave the powder behind. Now you can't touch the towel once it's dry because there's nothing kind of holding the powder on the towel apart from uh, whatever the static... Uh, energy that you have on the powder but um, if you're going to engrave it i actually engrave this one straight away there's no need to wait uh, like overnight or let it dry completely like the spray paint and um, the only problem with this kind of a method is that uh, the titanium dioxide powder doesn't actually dissolve in the um, acetone or alcohol so what they do is they form a suspension so uh, when you spray this uh, onto the towel, you do have to give a good shake, but you have to constantly shaking this because it will settle down quite quickly and uh, you might draw out just the powder or the liquid and then it will stop it from working. Um, this one is the first um, towel that I got a happy result with. I was, I'm really, really happy with this. But I also show you what happens when uh, things don't go right. So this one here actually have quite good coverage and I was trying the different power to see uh, the best setting that I have. So this one here, I run it at 2000 millimeter per minute at 70% power. Uh, what happened was it actually uh, burns away some of the um, towel uh, coating. And if you run your fingers along, you can actually feel that actually there's nothing stuck on the surface, but actually it was engraving the white towels. I don't think this happens with some of the lower power laser, but the X20 Pro, if you set it high enough, you actually vaporize the top coating and then it will actually give you a lighter color rather than the, the stronger color. And you can see here, the, uh, the low power here is actually uh, nothing uh, engraved. In the middle, there's a band here which gives you nice even color and it's still quite smooth to touch. And then as the power continue, you actually get a drop in terms of uh, color 
in terms of blackness and here it actually become a crater so that actually kind of sunken into the tile my method of preparing my tiles for lasering so i got my tiles here they've been wiped down once with acetone to remove any kind of coatings on um, on top of the tiles when they come out of the box i got titanium dioxide here with acetone so i give a good mix sorry about the camera shaking because i don't have a gimbal on this camera right here so i give it a good shake to make sure constantly spraying with a a suspension rather than them being separated I'm sure there might be a better method of uh, prepping your towels, but I like this one because it's quick and easy. I just need to make sure that I have a better spray bottle next time. Um, obviously on the white towel, it's quite difficult to see what actually binds to the towel, but if you look at the side of the box, you can see those are the titanium dioxide which is supposed to be on the towel. Some towels have uh, drops with thick powdering on there. That does not really show up in your final lasering because the laser is so strong that it's going to burn everything off anyway. So a bit of uneven is fine. Just make sure that it's actually a coating of titanium dioxide on the tiles. And that's it. And I won't need to wait for it to dry. I will pick up a towel and put it into the machine. And you can see that the corner is still a bit wet, but it has only been like literally a, a, a minute or two. And I'm just going to put it straight into the machine. I just want to make sure that it is going to be where inside the towels. Okay, so this is my second attempt with the same uh, logo image thing I have on the tiles. The only thing I change is the interval which will change your dot per um, inch dpi. So this one is 0 0.08, the other one was 0 0.1 and I didn't change the power and uh, speed at all and I got similar result but it does seems a bit darker so I'm going to take this out and share with you guys what it looks like. Uh, overall, I think it took about an hour to do this one because it's doing line by line. As you can see, at the moment, this is the finished um, product from before. So this is 3050 power at 0 0.1. So this one is exactly the same power, um, same speed, but a different a um, but a different DPI. And remember, I didn't use any uh, paint, so I don't need to strip the paint back. All I need to do is just wipe off the excess powder from the top of the towel. These are just normal wet wipes. Don't even need to wipe it. I could just rein it under the sink, but I thought I would give it a clean. Now, if we look at this in a bit of more details, you can tell that I have made a mistake right here. So uh, you won't have this problem if you are spray painting your towels instead of uh, the ethanol. Here is basically where I touch the towel. Um, when I when my finger touch the towel, it wipe off some of the powder. That's why it's become a white corner right here. So changing the DPI, so this one is, I think, is 0 0.1 or something like that. So you can see that, you know, the image a bit lighter. And um, there are some artifacts that I can see, like uh, uh, vertical lines. But overall, I do quite pleased with the gray area, which look quite even. But this one here, I changed the DPI. And now um, this one basically is 0 0.08. So there is some lines overlap and I can see some weird artifacts right here. So you can see some like banding on the horizontal lines right here. It's almost like every three quarter of an inch, you can see some banding here, which I don't really like. Um, if you hold it for far like this, you will probably less noticeable, but you definitely can tell. Definitely, you can see them.
So here is my next project done. Uh, this one here, I try a different setting this time. I go for speed. Um, this one is done with 6,000 millimeter per minute at 90 power. So this is high power and high speed. Um, it looks okay. I mean, uh, there is a loss, uh, a bit of loss of details at the fringe there. But to be honest with you, I think this looks quite good. Uh, this is an old photo that I took of my daughter and um, I think it's turned out quite well. Okay, let's do a bit of cleanup. Again, just a simple wet wipes. The, this one have a lot more powder coming off because a lot of the tiles is untouched. Naturally, the photo has a white background, so it's just a bit more to wipe off. And to make sure I get a nice black, I actually overdosing this with um, titanium oxide. There we go. So this is 6000 speed at 90%. And interval of 0 0.09. And here is another one. So different type of uh, photo. So this one obviously a dark background. And um, at speed of 3000 and 50% power at different interval. Uh, this lady actually have a very light complexion. But because of white background, it kind of make her into like a darker skin tone. I mean, uh, at a distance, you still be okay. I mean, they... Um, it, you can't tell if she is like a light color skin or dark color skin because of the shading but if you look compare the hair with the face and for example the hair and the face here and you can see uh, the different effect I quite like the way how how the thing turns out but obviously my machine will be different from your your laser machine for example but if you are using the same uh, X20 Pro then um, yeah this is this is a setting that I use I love the idea of using like a uh, solvent with a um, titanium dioxide. It saves you so much time when cleaning. But what I will do is I will get a bigger spray bottle. Um, the reason for that is that when there is a small bottle like this, when you have powder in the, in the liquid that doesn't dissolve, um, you have to keep stirring it and spray. Even if it is like within like five seconds, they all settle to the bottom. But at least if you have a bigger volume and uh, the suspension should actually last a bit longer and you're less likely to draw up powder and clocking the front. And this kind of spray bottle is the worst that you can have because the squeeze trigger here is so small and each spray come out, it only come out a tiny little bit. You may as well use a paintbrush and uh, just, just uh, brush it on. I uh, hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to the channel to help me grow. I can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye.